Okay, folks, welcome to my neck of the woods. This is Jeff, and today we're going to show you how to make a homemade deer attractor. This is, oh Lord, I've been doing this for so many years, I can't, can't really count. So, if it gets a little too thick, you can add just a little bit of water, a little bit of apple cider. But, first things first, I got the salt. 40 cents container. The uh, strawberry gelatin was three for a dollar. Dollar ninety-nine for the pure vanilla extract. And if you really want to see the deer go crazy, use some great value crunchy peanut butter. I've used the creamy and the crunchy. The crunchy just seems to make them go a little wild. So if we use the kind the K roll syrup. I use the regular. Just dark corn syrup. A little can of the peanut butter jar, I should say. And grandma's molasses. Grandma's molasses is good and honestly it's just like a dollar seventy cents, something like that. Cut the tops off of your salt because it's a pain in the rear end having to sit and wait for that to pour out. Sorry about the video recorder, but I forgot my other things in my truck, and I'm just not going to go get it. So, first, start up with a layer of salt. Alright, there we go. Next, we get the molasses, pour it in. Alright, next... Now this, a lot of people use jello, you get up in the mouth. Alright. I'm going to have to add some peanut butter. I'm going to lay this down and I will be back after I put the peanut butter in because I can't hold it and scoop it and spread it. Okay, and we are back and I have added a whole jar of the peanut butter and next is the pure don't use the imitation vanilla extract it contains alcohol and it just doesn't have the same effect now the pure vanilla extract is the best I got this for like a dollar ninety nine cents pop it open now you really don't want to overload it with vanilla extract just a little dash it's kind of like more than a little dash but it really works good now here goes the next thing more salt lay the salt to it finish off that box now finish off the molasses let it pour should have heated it up. You can heat this up and it will come out a lot quicker, a lot easier. You don't have to sit and wait and wait and wait for it to. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to this time either. Okay, now another container of the jello. Strawberry jello, that is. Add it to it. Just a little more of this vanilla extract to the jello. Get it kind of started in red. More salt. And I'm going to add more peanut butter, so just give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, so we added the other can of peanut butter or jar. I don't know why I keep calling it a can. We need to add. Zell's Kitchen Dark Corn Syrup. Now let's just give this bad boy a good drink of the corn syrup. Every drop of it. Sweet and the salt together. I bet you these deer would love to get them a salted caramel brownie blizzard from Dairy Queen. Okay, next, let's add some more salt. 
soak up that sugar and a little more vanilla extract and the last of my three packs of strawberry gelatin mix okay now here goes the fun part time to get to mixing <laughs> Okay, folks, it is officially mixed, and man alive, I just about to use a blender next time. That's some thick stuff. I guarantee you, you pour that over an old rotted stump, or just find your old log that's rotted, smear it all over that. They'll eat the bark up, and I, I bet you the, the the stump or the log, whichever you use, will not last long. I will take this on the hill tomorrow, and we will take her from there. Thanks for watching my neck of the woods. Okay, so here is where we're going to put it. You can see where I've put this in the past, and they have pour the ground up but this time we're going to dump it here where the on the log this is that's our goodies <clears throat> all right now let's see what we can do with it here now we're gonna Poor boy, this is going to be a job. I guess just turn it up like that. And let gravity do its thing. And slowly but surely come out. There is my spoon. That is not edible anymore. Right there in the find it. Sorry about this. My camera's probably all out of whack. Spread this on it real good. good to me. So there is the finished product. I guess it's come back in a few days to see what she looks like. I'm going to get out of here before I spook everything in creation out. Okay, folks. Welcome back to my neck of the woods. We're going to put a few things out today. We're going to put a sugar beet crush, kind of like a sweet and salty brick out. We're going to put some more corn. And check our trail uh, cam. Go kart smells like gas. You can smell it pretty good distance away. The feeder's out of corn, so I guess that couldn't be better timing. Well, it's not out, but it was down to its last one or two spins, so that was good timing. All right. So, pull her out of here.
first. Let me just pour some on the ground here. I guess more than a lorry pour it on the ground. Some in this bucket. Pour the rest in the feeder. If this don't pull them in, nothing's going to pull them in. The old Mo Tree Feeder, brother, it does the job. They don't, to me, they just don't get any better than the Mo Tree. It only feeds once a day, which is, you know, the setting I put it on. I put it on the feet of the evening. All right. And put some more corn in my bucket. Fifty pound corn. Just kind of heavy. All right. Pour some out here on the ground. Pour some around my other things here. Kind of. Things in the room. Now, that should be ready for this weekend. We've got our clover growing good. We we'll have to cut the weeds out of everything else. Got our salt block, our sugar beet, deer, cane, uh, corn. Got some big and J mixed in. You know. Some other things here. Got my molasses, peanut butter, corn syrup, vanilla extract, salt, and Kool-Aid concoction over there. Well, you know, and molasses. Everything should be in in line. The old bear vortex hunter does the job, boys. The vortex hunter got it set on 65 pound pull using the Scott Mongoose release. The Limb Saver silencer. Sherlock competition grade fiber optic pin. Got five pins on it. Use the Whisker Biscuit. That ain't, that, that's not the knockoff brand Whisker Biscuit. It's good. And last but not least, the Speed Freak Carbon Arrows from Carbon Express. And you know, it's, it may not be, in, well, yeah, we do have the Muzzy Quiver. And last but not least, the Grim Reaper Mechanical Bravo Heads. We'll get it done. Hopefully we'll get it done in the morning.